Okay, this is take two on hoping that the optimization, he might want to learn about this too. The optimization subject to constraints, take two. This is bullshit union busting disguised as repair. Do I have to start all the way over? Um, no. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe a quick summary. Okay. Well, uh, so again, the sign is... Tell me your name again. Tom Bird. Yes, Tom Bird. Um, Tom so Bird's going to fly us through this problem. So, okay. you know, this sign is making the point that Walker was saying that, you know, he had no choice. He had the, his constraint was that he had to balance the budget, and what he was trying to optimize was, you know, how are you going to cut that money with, to do the least amount of harm? That's what he's saying. Right. But it's completely ridiculous because collective bargaining has nothing to do with the budget. And to just arbitrarily choose union workers, you know, and, you know, they're already agreeing to a lot of these cuts, so that, and that's not the big part here. But anyways, the reason this is hilarious is because... Uh, the Lagrange multiplier problem. So Do you want to put your hand by it so you're right sure. there? You could point right to that important so, part of it. Yeah. You can use an example from economics to think about this. I mean, so after, yeah. It would be like, the, like you think about one consumer, think about yourself. F would be your utility. Okay. Um, and G would say be like some constraint involving your personal budget. Okay. And so you want to maximize the amount of enjoyment you get, but it's constrained by, you know, how much money you have and the subtleties of how that when it's available, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And so basically, let's say there are maybe multiple different ways you can actually kind of maximize your utility mm -hmm. given a certain question constraint. And so maybe in that case, this equation would have multiple solutions with different lambdas, yes. and those being the Lagrange multipliers. And so maybe you would have multiple lambdas, you know, kind of showing how in different situations you'd be able to optimize your utility in certain different ways would just figure that they would try to do that. Yeah, and it's all based off of differential calculus where kind of tiny little changes in this, how do they relate to tiny little changes in this, and then elegant math, and boom, you get really powerful mathematics at the end of it. Are you suggesting that the Republicans were trying to approach this with at least a pretense of elegance? No, not at all. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. They are so the party just... of anti-science. Right. All right, so in some sense, this sign is uh, is sarcastic. Oh, yes. I oh, yes, very sarcastic. <laughs> okay. And what is there? This is Grateful Red. It's our uh, basketball student section. Ah, right. Yeah. Of course, the Badgers, Grateful Red. Mm -hmm. And I think we really have to conclude this with just a word of radical cab driver history. <laughs> you were part of the cab driver blockage of State Street? Oh, that was Union great. cab? Yeah, it was really What number cab were you in the... Two five, and yeah. do you know what number of all the cabs in there? What row? What, like, which number of cab in that row you were? Like, were you first? Were you tenth? I think you... I was towards the end. I was about, you know, fifth from the end. And do you know what street you blocked? Is it a? What we blocked. I mean, do you, were you surprised you weren't arrested? Um, you know what? There is a feeling. There's a tense feeling when we were leaving because the unknown, you know, and the tea party was in town. Yeah, and you blocked. Basically, traffic. I mean, we did. Uh -huh. well, we're used to um, driving around, kind of dealing with chaos a little bit. So, you know. I appreciate that. Well, Everybody has their down, own sense of we rules. Drive down State Street and bar time. Have you ever been here in bar time? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. State Street? I, 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 yeah, I've seen it anyway. Well, I've never had car, a drink during that time. Driving through those people, they are zombies. That's intense. So, <laughs> so okay. Um, w did you guys plan that in advance? I mean, how did yeah. that? Did you all drive from headquarters? And yeah. did you guys know that like this is a European thing that's probably never been done in the United States? No. Whose idea was this? I was this was Brad's my idea? It might, well, my ex-boyfriend claims it was his idea. He works for you. Yeah, of course, right. Do you know Brad? Brad. Oh, come on. Brad's like the dispatcher. He's a comedian. He's an improv comedian. Brad, um, you know, he does the Darth Vader, uh, Garth, uh, Brad, Chad Vader. Oh, okay, okay. I know who you're talking Yeah, he's a, he's a funny guy. Okay, well, thank you very much, all of you. I have to tell you, it's been an incredible time here, and I'm going to go to sleep now. I have no idea. I've never Please put don't. anything on YouTube. Because I said the people's names. Okay. Well, um, well, I feel guilty because I...
Well, it is a historic moment, a historic time. You can put my stuff up. I can even be happy to have you put it up. Thank you, Bird. That's pretty classy. Appreciate that. Mr. Wagner, okay. You're an onlooker. You've gotten in here. Do you know Do you know the answer to that formula, or did you write it? Oh, I Did you write that? It's okay. You don't have to. I, yeah, I don't I, get it, and I just watch it. I get it. ideas out of it. It's a Lagrange multiplier problem. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, I get it. What do you, okay. It's like All a right. really common problem in physics. Yeah. And economics, it's really good. Yeah. Okay. All right. How well. Um, well, did you, you heard the economics example. Um, the ones in physics are a lot messier. Um, but uh, let me think here. I, I, mean, I can't think I can get anyone that would sound coherent right now. Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm going to sleep. You can keep 